Well, hello there. Just wanted to take a quick minute and kind of give you an overview on Sportsnet. You may be looking for it, you may not, but uh, Sportsnets are a way that a lot of people are using to kind of help protect their fields and reduce stray balls. There's a lot of things to think about there. What type of sport are you using it for? Well, there's golf, there's baseball, soccer, tennis, lacrosse, hockey, all types of sports that you can use netting for. Uh, there's really two main types of material. There's a nylon net. It's very strong. It's resilient. It's uh, good for a sports that have got a high impact. And then there's polyethylene, which is fantastic in the sunshine. It stands up really well in the sunshine, and it doesn't absorb a lot of water, too. So that's nice. It doesn't get heavy. Uh, it's UV protected. It resists rot and mildew. Uh, and it also ensures the durability of the material. There are some uh, flame retardant materials available. So if it's an indoor cage or something, those are possible to get. Um, most of the nets can be customized depending on what your requirements are. There's different mesh sizes like golf. You're going to need a tighter mesh than like maybe a volleyball or something like that. Um, when you install the net, it's in, in crucial to make sure that you got the area covered so that none of the foul balls uh, escape. And it keeps the, uh, make sure the structure is tight. It's going to withstand for years. And here's a few um, uh, things to... you got to be sure to plan the area that you're going to cover. you got to make sure you get the right type of net. Uh, you want to make sure that the areas are measured correctly so that you can install the net so it covers and everything. Uh, you want to make sure you got good posts and poles. Most people use like a Schedule 40 steel post or a telephone pole. You don't want to use something light that's going to bend over if it gets any weight on it. Uh, make sure that they're good for the structure. You want to use like steel cable to put that up, frame the, uh, the structure and cable, and use a lot of people use carabiner clips or hog rings to put it up. Also, make sure you use the ground anchors again. And if you got sandy soil, you want to get a bigger earth anchor. Uh, you want to install the place, poles, make sure they're going to your predetermined area. Make sure they're aligned before you start putting the netting in too, because you definitely don't want to have to come in and pull the net down and reline your posts up. Use eye bolts or you can drill through the poles, run your cable through, string it almost like a guy stringing telephone lines. Uh, you want to make sure that the cables are going extend uh, straight through the eye bolts and you want to tighten those down. You want to stretch and hang the net uh, using cable clips or ties. Do a loose install first before you really tighten that thing down. Once you get it into place, tighten it down then so you don't have to come back and reinstall it. And when you come to the bottom, make sure your bottom's covered because sometimes those balls can sneak underneath that, uh, that netting sometimes. So make sure the bottom is locked off good and secure. You want to maintain it every once in a while. Check it and make sure the netting's still strong. If it's not strong, shut it down. Don't use it when nobody get in. Call us. We've got uh, brochures to help you out with that, some basic installation guides. Uh, we can also get you a price and quote, and there's a lot more information. You know, we'll be happy to help you uh, if you don't know exactly how to put it in or if you're a newbie or something like that. Um, but definitely uh, give us a call. Uh, our phone number is 706-894-1444. And we look forward to talking to you about your sporting needs in the future.